What is the difference between distilled water and filtered water? That is a great question. Now, if you've been working on increasing the consumption of your water, you may have realized just how many options there are. Sound familiar? Well, then you've probably even wondered that very question. If that's you, you are in the right place. I'm here to answer that question in today's video. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Dr. Kelly Shockley, doctor of cause, chiropractic, board certified in sports medicine, and specialized in clinical nutrition. In this video, we're going to be going over the number one biggest lie when it comes to drinking water. It is one that we've all heard and no longer need to believe. Then we'll cover the differences between distilled and filtered water. The differences really do matter. And finally, I will be sharing with you the best water you could drink. This water has been ranked number one in all of North America and number two in the whole entire world. Let's dive on in, guys. All right. What is the number one biggest lie we've all heard and no longer have to believe when it comes to drinking water? That tap water is actually safe. Now, I know it depends on where you live, but unfortunately, we are in a time of life where all of the drinking water that comes from the tap, when it hasn't been filtered, it hasn't been cleaned, it is just tap water, it's actually really dirty. I can tell you firsthand from patients that I've worked with that work in the water treatment plants that are located throughout Colorado that, in fact, our waters are so incredibly dirty, there is no possible way that just from the water treatment centers alone and what they do to try to clean and purify our water, they can't keep up with the amount of stuff that is in our tap water these days. I'm talking anything from all the medications that people don't use that still, for whatever reason, flush them down the toilet to remnants of chemotherapy drugs, antipsychotic medications, all those prescription drugs to then bacteria and fungus and all kinds of microbes that we don't want to have in our water supply. And then some of the most detrimental that people don't have enough awareness of are all the heavy metals. We're talking lead and mercury and tungsten and you name it. It's not being filtered out of the water just by our water treatment centers that exist on their own. So tap water is not safe. If there was one thing that you could do to start leveling up your health, it would be to stop drinking the tap water. But it's also don't drink it, don't cook with it. And I wouldn't be bathing in that either. Unfortunately, it is so full of contaminants and over time that accumulates in our bodies and can lead to a multitude of different health issues. So do yourself a favor and clean up your water supply. Now I'm super curious. Did you believe that lie about tap water also? Just tell me your answer down in the comments below. I would love to hear your input and your feedback. Now we're going to jump into the differences and what are they actually between distilled and filtered water. And I'm going to throw in a bonus one of purified water as well, because these terms get thrown around in so many different places. And how do we know what is a better, cleaner source? And what does that actually mean? There are so many opinions out there. So let's get to the actual definitions of what each type of these waters are so that you can make a better informed decision about what you're choosing to replace that tap water with. So let's quickly define what purified water actually is. Purified water is water that has been filtered to process out things like chemicals and different microbes and impurities that should not be there. So it is a cleaner source of your tap water. That's generally where the water is coming from. It's groundwater tap that is then being purified and being cleaned up. So distilled water actually goes through the process of distillation. Now, it's another way that you can get rid of those impurities and the microbes and the chemicals, but it's just done through a different mechanism. Generally, through the process of distillation, the water is being boiled and then the steam is actually what's being collected. This is classic, like you can look at the homesteaders that create their own distillery type of a process. This is what they're doing. So it's one way that as the steam rises, you collect that. And as it condenses, that is now your distilled source of water. It's another effective way for removing different chemicals and the microbes that um, exist there as well. One of the biggest things with distilled water is it is pure water. There's nothing else that is there. It is 100% clean and pure. 
Now, filtered water is still a way to go through and clean up the water. It would be more likened to your purified water. In fact, you could basically take purified and filtered and they almost mean the exact same thing. So filtered water is, it goes through the process of being purified or cleared, you know, by filtering out the junk, but it doesn't do quite the job of pure water that distillation actually can result in. So now the question becomes, what is the best type of water for you to be drinking? I can tell you anything that is not tap water is going to be a step in the right direction. Now, purified and filtered water, those vary. It depends on what is the mechanism of how they're being purified. And this is where people get into a little bit of a challenge if you're looking for like a whole house filtration system or, you know, the under the faucet or like the pitchers that have the filters in them. The biggest question becomes how good are they at removing the stuff you don't want to have there? Now, I know some of you might be saying, well, if distilled water is absolute pure water, then we should probably just have distilled water because it's the cleanest source for what we're after. There is a downfall to distilled water. Through the process of distillation, not only you're getting rid of all the bad stuff that shouldn't be there, but a lot of the naturally occurring minerals that we need in order to survive are also being removed through that same process. In fact, it's been said that up to 99% of all of the good minerals in your electrolytes, like your sodium, your potassium, magnesium, and calcium, they're actually removed through that process of distillation. So that's where the downfall of distillation comes from. Now, if you drink distilled water and you're actively taking in these nutrients from other sources or in the form of a supplement itself, then you're probably doing okay. The biggest rule of thumb is you don't want to drink the tap water. You want to drink something that you know is cleaner. And if you're ever curious about the source of water that you're consuming, you can use a test that's out there. Down in the resources below this video, down in the description, if you click on it and scroll all the way down to where it says resources, one of the companies that I use that you can do a home kit and just test the water you have at your house is called My Tap Score. They've been great. They can do a variety of different types of testing. So you can have that peace of mind of what is actually in this water that I'm choosing to consume and that I'm cooking with. And ultimately, if you can get filters put on your shower heads or you get a whole house filtration system, what am I actually bathing in? So I would recommend you test your water. That's one of the best ways to know with certainty the, the cleanliness of the water that you're consuming. Now, before I get into the best water that you could drink, I want to just take a moment to remind you to click that subscribe button down below, turn the notifications on, and hey, give me a big thumbs up down there. I'm doing a good job for you. I am regularly producing content for you to help empower you, be able to take back control of your health so that as you move forward, you're getting healthier instead of going down that classic dwindling spiral that so many people are on. So again, just click that subscribe button, turn the notifications on, and give me a big thumbs up while you're down there. Thanks so much. What is the best water that you could drink? Now, it's one that I'm kind of partial to, but for good reason. I have good taste, people. It is El Dorado Springs water. And conveniently for me, it's located only like 45 to an hour away from where I sit. The good news about El Dorado is that they can distribute pretty much anywhere within the United States. Now, let me explain. El Dorado is actually a, a spring source of water. Now, it is near Boulder. If you're familiar where Boulder, Colorado is, El Dorado Springs is not far from there. This is a natural occurring spring that basically bubbles up water year round every single day. And its climate is basically 76 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's just, it's pure. They've done testing. And I will tell you, I've used my tap score and I have independently tested them. And there's essentially nothing in there that shouldn't be in there. One of the benefits of the natural occurring springs water, which El Dorado is not the only one that's there. But out of the North America, they're ranked number one. Out of the whole entire world, they're ranked number two for taste and purity. Springs waters actually have those minerals and the electrolytes in them that you would actually want to be consuming. So one thing that I would recommend, if you don't choose to drink Eldorado, um, like 
out here in Colorado, you can find it in the grocery stores, at the health food stores. You can actually have it delivered to your household. If you don't live in Colorado, you can also have it arrange, um, arrange it to be delivered to your household as well. But if you choose not to use Eldorado, then I would just encourage you to look for maybe another natural occurring springs type of a water source maybe in your state as well. However, at the end of the day, just test what you're actually drinking. That will give you the peace of mind that what you're putting in is actually clean and one of the best sources that you could be utilizing for where you're at and what is convenient for you. I will tell you, I will leave you with this, that when I'm working with my patients and I'm looking at what's going on with their health and how did they actually get to this place? We do look at things like heavy metals and what are their mineral levels in addition to how is every single organ system functioning, like you name it, we are fully testing the body and seeing how is it working. I can tell you that the water, in addition to food, those are probably two of the biggest variables that are either working for you and helping you stay healthy or achieve higher levels of health, or they're working against you and slowly starting to deteriorate your health. So water is incredibly important. Like I said, anything moving you away from tap water to a cleaner level of water is going to be a step in the right direction. Now, if you're ever curious about how to test your water, that's right below this video. But if you're even more curious to see how is my level of health doing right now, like I am a big advocate of if you're not testing, you're guessing. And now there's a multitude of different tests that you can do without utilizing a doctor. But I will tell you, they're not complete. Testing. If you're not being able to evaluate you as a whole, you're going to be missing out on something that's going on in the system. So if you're curious about what that looks like, then if you go down to the description below this video, you will see if you click it and it expands that there is a health workshop where I explain all of this to you and help you be able to figure out how to determine your actual level of health. That way, once you know where you're at, you can then determine what do I need to do to start taking back control of my health and increasing the level of health that I have so that you can be as healthy as possible, which ultimately helps you achieve your life's purpose while you're here. So again, find that link down in the description below, and I look forward to seeing you on a future video. God bless.